it's Rick Ruby in Charlotte. It's Monday, November 27th. I had the greatest Thanksgiving ever. I had my kids, my four grandkids. We went to the petting zoo. We went to a car show. We watched football. I played all kind of kitty games. I couldn't wait to get back to work. Let me tell you, I need some adult interaction. These little grandbabies will wear you out. My grandbabies are four, three, two, and one. So I got little babies from two daughters all over the place. So listen, six weeks left in the year. You got to knuckle down and you got to get it going for two reasons. One, to finish the year strong. And for the other, to start off next year with a bank. I think the mortgage business and the real estate business is going to be down 20% next year. Just so you know, I tell myself that every year to make myself work hard. I'm super excited about what I'm going to do this week. I had a builder meeting last week with a brand new builder. Very excited to do some follow-up. I'm going to send him a book with a note with five bullet points of how I can help him if he'd like to work with me. I'm sure with my persistency and continued follow-up, he's going to choose to work with me and Summit Funding on his builder deals. He sells about a 1,000 houses a year. I've got a couple interviews for new loan reps I'm trying to hire. I'm trying to finish the year really, really strong. You know, one of the things that bugs me is people focus too much on growth and profits, not enough about taking care of what you already have, catering to the clients you have, catering to the employees you have. That's how you build a great company. I have three companies, a coaching company, part of a giant mortgage company, and a staffing company. And I have to tell you, um, I want to be great at all three. I don't want to be average at all three. I want to have a great company where people love to come to work here, where people tell their friends to come to work here, where clients bring their friends to come do business with us, coaching students bring their friends for coaching, staffing clients bring their friends for staffing, mortgage employees bring their friends to be in the mortgage business. To do that, you got to focus on the experience day to day for both the employees and the clients. It starts off with your employee experience. If your employees are not enjoying their job and if they don't feel cared for, they're not going to work their butts off. They've got to be excited about going to work. That will start with them transitioning into taking care of your clients. And just so you know, the secret formula is take care of employees, take care of clients, takes care of profits. I'm ending up 8% up in the mortgage business, 40% up in the staffing business, 25% up in the coaching business. I've had a great year and I'm committed to having a better year next year because I'm going to expect the industry to go down. So it's going to make me work even harder and take better care of my employees and better care of my clients. I think it's very easy to get complacent in life, in your marriage, in your body, in your business, in your job. I think the key is you got to focus on being your absolute best every day. And really what you've got to be is you've got to be a leader without a title. That's really the attitude everybody has to have. You have to be the front desk person and think like this is your company. You have to have employee ownership mentally and then it will become physical that you'll have ownership of your company. So listen, I want you to have a great week. I'm going to talk to 130 people on the phone. I'm going to be as excited as I can be and try and help all my employees enjoy their job and all my clients enjoy their experience. And hopefully there'll be some profits at the end of the day. Have a great week. Rick Ruby out.